KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. Weather Extreme Video, this is the afternoon edition for Friday, September 21st. I'm James Spann. Got a few scattered showers and storms today. Heat levels are down. Similar weather for the weekend. Next week, the weather looks a little unsettled and cool air blows in here right about the time October arrives. Let's take a look. Upper air look this afternoon. You can see the upper high drifting onto the east. Air aloft a little colder today. Pretty good short wave passing well to the north of the state. There's the visible satellite, guy, uh, satellite view. Got a pretty good field of cumulus clouds, uh, especially over the eastern half of the state. Many of those have blossomed into showers and storms. Again, most of them are east of Interstate 65. Moving very little today, so some folks getting a pretty good downpour. Many spots with nothing. That's what we mean when we say widely scattered showers, and we think that'll be the case tomorrow and Sunday. And yeah, heat levels are down. Seeing a lot of 80s on the board today. Tuscaloosa still 90, Birmingham 88. Highs for the weekend should be between 87 and 90 in most spots, much like the numbers you see there. Well, off to the west, check out all the flash flood watches in effect for parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. They've seen some uh, very heavy rain over the course of the day today. A number of counties are under flash flood warnings there. Also, risk of uh, strong to severe storms and enhanced risk of severe weather for the rest of today and tonight for parts of Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, including places like uh, Pittsburgh and Buffalo in Erie. This is tomorrow. No uh, organized severe weather expected in day three, which is Sunday. We'll have scattered storms, but organized severe storms are not expected to be an issue. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Heaviest rain from Abilene, Texas up to Memphis. In Alabama, amounts over two and a half inches for the Shoals, about one inch for Birmingham and Mobile, under one inch for southeast Alabama. And again, next week looking fairly unsettled as uh, we have a deeper moisture field and the uh, air is more unstable. Check the tropics. We got four yellow X's on the board. Those are suspect areas, and they're far from the United States. And I'd say of the four, the most interesting might be that wave coming off the African coast. That thing looks pretty well organized. This is the five-day outlook from the Hurricane Center. Uh, they've got a medium chance of that uh, wave coming off the African coast developing. Let's look at modeling. This is Invest 99. <clears throat> Models are tightly clustered. Classic low latitude system. Be slowly, slowly gaining some latitude with time. And most models bring this thing up to a tropical storm pretty quickly. Uh, the name would be Kirk if this is the next named system. The next two names are Kirk and Leslie. And again, way out there, just something to watch. Model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock. The upper high to the east, westerlies to the north. And again, tomorrow, much like today, a mixture of clouds and sunshine with widely scattered showers and storms. I'd say the high for most places between 86 and 90. This is the high-res NAM, ballot tomorrow afternoon at 4, not showing much. We've got uh, Alabama with an afternoon game in Tuscaloosa, Auburn a home game in the evening. So looks like rain, probably not a big issue, but understand the chance is not zero for those stadiums. Same thing Sunday, partly sunny, widely scattered storms, perhaps the more numerous ones over the Tennessee Valley. Highs mid to upper 80s, and next week, the moisture deeper on Monday. Pretty good chance of showers and storms. Highs in the low 80s with a limited amount of sun, and that'll be the case much of the week. Here's Tuesday, Wednesday, surface front to the north. Thursday, the front nearing the northern border. Another front spinning off a low over Minnesota. And a week from today, this is Friday the 28th, uh, got broad troughing to the north, the upper high beginning to be suppressed and uh, again, a surface boundary just north of the state, but let's go out to uh, October 1st. This is out 10 days, and again, uh, deep trough covers much of the eastern two-thirds of the country, and that looks like a uh, pretty good cold front coming in at that point with showers and storms. So clearly, we need rain, and that's good. Next week, we'll have multiple rain chances each day, and uh, for the cool weather fans here, the numbers... And right on cue, as October gets here, highs drop in the 70s and lows drop in the 50s. Come on now. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. My next video will be posted here Monday morning at 7 o'clock. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.
KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.